the fact that the climate change is with us, um, that most people, although it is with us, they are not aware, especially the rural communities down there who are most affected by, the, by climate change. We have sensitized the women groups, we have gone to sensitize the local governments, have held uh, roundtable discussions with them about climate change, how they, they are looking at it, how they are trying to, you know, to overcome it, and of course <coughs> discussing way, ways forward in which they can integrate it in their development plans. We have also gone on to air spot messages on uh, on a radio, uh, one popular radio station uh, which covers both Jinja and Iganga districts. So we have our first port messages running per day and this is going to go on for about three months. The women groups are going to be used to sensitize the communities and first we, they are going to schools. Uh, each women group is, will be required to go to first schools. They are developing drama to do that. And then uh, later they will go to their local communities. Uh, and then oh, we are going to have uh, also a radio talk show where we will allow people to, to call in, uh, give their views about the climate change, how they are finding it, uh, maybe <coughs> indigenous ways in which they are trying to, to adapt to climate change, and, and give suggestions of. Uh, how best it can be done, even in their area or other areas. It is uh, all related to poverty. Now, in the areas where we are working, uh, there is a, a sugar cane factory, and it is using the communities as outgrowers. The communities have really cut trees down to grow sugar cane, and it has really compromised so much with food security, with uh, you know energy needs like for firewood. Now reversing that trend, of course, if somebody I will have to think now if I, if I plant a tree today, how long will it take take me to, to reap benefit from it? And if I plant sugar cane, if I plant maize, I mean it, it will take just a season. So that is a challenge. And another is uh, because almost each each district has. A local FM. Now, coming out with a with a, a, a radio station which covers a large area, a very large area, because we did need more than 2,000 to, to listen, is also a challenge because almost each, each area has its own, and of course the expense of, of using each one of them is high. Uh, one is the is that using communities is really very effective in sensitizing. Uh, is they, because they believe in each other. Using the women to sensitize each other, I think, will lead to success. And even using children is another. Um, another thing is that they have a, lot, a wealth of knowledge. They even came out with other things like using uh, uh, a technology where bricks are made without you know, burning them. Presently, by the construction industry, is consuming a little firewood for making bricks. But if we can come up with that technology uh, in which bricks are, can be made cheaply but without burning, then uh, that, that is something which will also save uh, our trees and therefore will help in, a, in combating climate change.